We might be having some trying times this week, but it's okay. We're going to talk about what the angels want you to know, what to do with the information, and some things that you might be dealing with that you might want to be aware of. So make sure you're sticking in there, hanging in there, sticking to this video, whatever, <laughs> to get the full message. We're starting off with the number five on the Divine Guidance card. Now, we just came out of the 1010 Energy Portal. We're seeing all these shakeups. This is around the time where things start to break down so that we can move forward. We can see what's not working. So if you have, and this is an influence that goes on for a bit, okay? So if you have seen things suddenly just fall apart, that's one. Uh, two, you had sudden realizations where you're just not in the mood anymore. You're not in the mood to dumb yourself down so other people feel better. You're not in the mood to just smile through someone being a narcissist just so they don't explode. Now, I know a lot of experts are going to say, hey, don't antagonize a narcissist, don't antagonize people like that. I stand with them on that, but sometimes enough is enough and you just got to walk away. No, you can walk away and not antagonize, okay? But five is the number of change. And this divine guidance is really telling us you need to be balanced and harmonized as you go through this because nothing is what your ego is going to tell you it's supposed to be. So really it's a battle of our ego. And our ego is going to tell us, I meant to be with this person. I meant to have this job. Um, I can't do anything else. I have to do this. And we're being shown a different way, but it's going to feel uncomfortable. Okay. So this card is Archangel Sandalfin. That's about balancing the chakras. Your prayers have been heard and are being answered. But if you, again, if you get in your own way and you don't allow those answers to come through because you've got it stuck in your head that it has to look a certain way. See what I'm saying? So it says the search for meaning in life. Like this is deep here. Consider an alternative approach. You're switching gears here. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So this is also saying, hey, I'm not going to keep just spending time with these kinds of these certain types of people just because uh, that's what I'm supposed to. I feel like the sweatshirt makes me look like I have no neck. <laughs> like, I'm just like, nah. We'll fix it here in a second. Anyway, uh, <laughs> maybe you're you're just not into the shallow dynamics and maybe you feel like you have to. But really, some of these more, I don't know, these beneficial friendships, yes? Like, oh, it's good to know people. It's good to network and all that. But does that backfire on you? Do you then have people thinking that they're entitled to come in and get you to do something or boss you around or get demanding with you? Do they, they're, cause they're kind of crossing the lines between like, Hey, I need a favor and we're friends, right? So you have to, or I know you, right? So you have to do as I say. Here's where it gets a little messier. Cause again, we're in a mood this week. We are not taking it. I know I was in a mood today for sure. And I was just sick of everything. <laughs> I was just sick of, um, uh, people not being respectful, uh, people just making things 10 times harder than they need to be because they're being lazy or feeling like I got to smile, like I'm getting treated poorly and feeling like I need to smile through it so that I don't continue to get treated poorly. Do you see what I'm saying? Or smiling through something just to not make waves. We're done. I don't think I can fix this. I think we're in, but I do have a neck. Just want you all to know that. Okay. All right. So the next card up is Knight of Michael. <coughs> Pardon me. Strong, committed, intellectual, diligent. This is the part of you that is breaking open. And the reason why it's the knight and not the king, because you're still in process. You haven't really gotten your full strength. And yet you're in your pure sort of warrior mode. But coming from the intellect. Okay. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. Sudden changes. So again. Mike is getting away from me. Again, you know, the sudden changes part that goes in with that five that we have from the first card. So expect maybe the unexpected, whatever it is, it's a learning experience. This is eight of Ariel. Take great pride in your excellent work. So you've done a lot to come through some karmic lessons, some karmic challenges. Practice makes perfect. Okay, so be gentle on yourself this week. Consider getting additional training, education or training. But I think this is like, hey, lesson learned. Maybe it took you a while to realize all that you had to do to come through that lesson. Right? How do I always underestimate myself? Why do I go into things where I know I'm going to be disrespected or looked down upon or someone's going to diminish me or dismiss me because maybe they're intimidated by you? That could be. That could be. 
or they're jealous of you, whatever the case may be. Four of Gabriel, time for a celebration. So you're freeing yourself from something. And it might come with a, because of that night in there, it might be a little bit of a battle. Some of you might be a little harsh with your words, but it's not like the page of Michael, right? It's not like the page of Michael where you're just trying to, you're being immature and you're just saying things just to say them. The knight has strategy. So he knows when it's time to say what he needs to say. Now the king is even better at that, but the knight has some skills too. Time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work. I think that's a karmic payoff and there's some stability and some happiness and a chance to relax a little bit at the end of this, okay? Release yourself from burdensome situations. I swear to you, I feel like a lot of you are just saying enough is enough. I'm walking away. This isn't worth it. It's not worth stealing my peace. For some of you, because it says abundant resources, you know, I wonder if some of you aren't walking away from a job. Anyway. I mean, it could be a lot of different things, walking away from a relationship, a job, a way of interacting with people. It could be dumping a whole friend group because you're just fed up. You're just done. You're just done. But you are supported in this. Remember that divine guidance card coming in here too. So there's a lot of help from the angels and archangels and spirit guides on the other side, trying to usher you through this next chapter. Now, I just got the example in my head of Floridians here in the United States. I know a lot of people have been talking about moving because they've just gotten hit one after another by hurricanes. This is that type of situation where even if you were born and raised in Florida, you might go, you know what? The world has changed. These storms are getting more and more violent. It's time to go. You know, I'm tired of having to rebuild my house or I'm tired of being in danger. I'm tired of worrying about my loved ones, you know? So those are the kinds of things that could be coming about. But really overall this is a very very positive moment here because anything that you didn't have the guts to do before now you're doing it now you're doing it we're coming up to the 11 11 portal where's the time it's the time where we start manifesting what it is we want but this time in this year it's imperative to be listening to your spiritual team because maybe what you're trying to manifest is not good for you okay or it's not going to help you on your path the way you had hoped. Now, having said 11-11, this is the time of year. It starts usually around 9-9, but it goes 9-9, 10-10, 11-11, This is the time where people are coming in and getting those types of angelic messages, okay? So if you would like to work with me, you can sign up for a reading at angelsouls444.com. That's the standard reading. All you have to do is go in and choose how much time you want. That goes in 30-minute increments. So you can get 30 60, 90, I don't care what you do, just <laughs> put it in there. And the submission form is where you can ask your question and let me know if you want an 11-11 portal reading, like what should you be focusing on? What are you still trying to release from the 10-10 portal? You can approach it that way. We can do an Akashic Records reading with Metatron, or you can ask any question of the angels and we will bring something through for you. Okay, so there is that option. I do have some limited spaces, especially in the next couple of weeks. Let me know if you want a live session. So those are a different price point. And for those, you email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. We'll get on Zoom. Again, let me know how much time you want, what time zone you're in, and let me see what I can work out. Again, it gets busy. So we'll we'll do what we can okay so comment down below let me know how things are shaping up for you what are you experiencing right now and remember i'm sending you my love we'll just leave it there <laughs> take care